Hi all, this video is going to be a complete walkthrough about tracker node in DaVinci Fusion. Tracker node can be used to track a point or to track X and Y value. On a tracker node, we can have multiple track points. Each track point will track X and Y coordinate which can be used by the tracker node itself or by any other node. So let's jump into this walkthrough. First about the node structure, you need to connect the tracker node to the media that you like to track. If you only need the point value that you are tracking, then you don't need to include the tracker node on your node tree as the tracker value can be applied directly from the inspector tab using the connect to option. Or you can keep the tracker node on your node tree. You can use the tracker node as merge node and connect the input to foreground and use functions like match move, corner positioning and perspective positioning. And if you want to stabilize the video using the tracker node, you can do that. On that case also, you need to keep the tracker node on your node tree. But there is no need to input anything in the foreground of the tracker node. Also, a tip I can share is that if the video that you are tracking does not have good contrast then you can add a brightness contrast node before the tracker node and add contrast to the video so there will be a good separation so you can track effectively after the tracking you can just delete the brightness contrast node so after adding the tracker node from the weaver we can control the track points on the weaver there will be a rectangle things inside the rectangle will be tracked there will also be a rectangle made out of dashes that one is the search area search area will act as a safety net when the things that you are tracking is not found in the rectangle it will search in that search area box you can move this point using the square at the top left corner also you can resize these boxes from the viewer itself now on to the inspector there will be three tabs first tab will allow you to control tracking details Second tab will allow you to control the functions provided by the tracker node. Third tab will allow you to control the on-screen controls. First let's look at the on-screen controls. Show pattern names will show the tracker name on the viewer. Enlargement pattern on dragging controls whether to magnify the points or not when you move the track point from the viewer. Enlargement scale controls the magnification strength. Lastly, search area scale will allow you to control the search box size. Now on to the tracker tab. First one is the track controls. You can use this to start or stop the tracking. Thing to remember is that there is no option to track one frame at a time. If you want to track one frame at a time, you can use tracker plus available on the reactor. It is same as tracker but with the option to track one frame forward or backward. So now to the options, first one is the track reverse, it will start the tracking from the ending frame and will track in reverse order, track reverse from current frame will track in reverse but it will start the tracking from the current frame that you are on, stop will stop the tracking, also you can use escape key to stop the tracking, track forward from current frame will track in forward direction but will start from the current frame. Track forward will start the tracking from the starting frame in forward direction. Next frame per point option controls how many keyframe to be added. One means every frame that is tracked will be keyframe. Two or other number means keyframe will be only added after that number of frames. Adaptive mode controls how the pattern we selected is tracked in each frame. None means Tracker will search for the same pattern we selected in each frame. Every frame means pattern for the next frame to be tracked will be the pattern from the current frame. Meaning for frame 3 the pattern that will be used will be the pattern from the frame 2 and for the frame 4 it will be from the frame 3. Best match is same as every frame but pattern from each frame will be compared with the original pattern we selected. If they matches then only it will be tracked. We can control how much comparison needed to be done by using the match tolerance control. Next is the path center. If you are tracking something which leaves the field and come back after some frames or if you want to change the pattern we are tracking after some time. 
then at that time we can use the track center option in this path center by using the track center the path will be joined as shown in the video while in pattern center if we do the same thing new pattern will be created as shown in the video now on the tracker list it shows all the tracker you can add new tracker using the add option and delete the tracker using delete option to disable a track point just press the box it will disable the track point then if you press it again then it will be in suspended mode in this mode the track point will not be tracked by using the track option but the points that are already tracked can be used by other nodes by using the show option we can show the tracker settings of selected tracker or all the tracker the small box shows what we are tracking we can refine the pattern we are tracking from here we can choose color individual channels alpha or luminance or automatic option if we choose any channel only the data from that channel will be used for tracking the box on the right side shows what we are tracking when we start the tracking process and after tracking we can play this box to see what we have tracked green line at the side shows tracking efficiency green means the track is good yellow means average track red means the tracking is not good below that we can control the track box size and search box size tracked sender is the x and y value that we are tracking while offset will allow you to offset this tracked value on some cases when we use tracker we won't be able to place the track points to the exact location we like the tracker to be at at that time we will use another location to place the tracker then we'll use the offset option to get the correct value we can also adjust the offset value from the viewer just enable the controller and you can move the offset point now for the operation first one is the none you can keep it like that if you are going to use the track points on another node but if you want to perform other operation we can do it from here first one is the match move by using match move we can stabilize our clip as well as add another clip which will move exactly as the points we tracked to use this as stabilizer from the merge option select background only thing to notice that for stabilization it will be better to add two track points then only we can stabilize the rotation parameter then from the below options we can stabilize the clip using position rotation and scaling tick boxes all these three option will stabilize their respective motions next one is the match move for match move you can attach the foreground to foreground of this tracker node and from the merge choose foreground over background meaning foreground will be on the top of the background other option in this merge section is the bg only fg only meaning only background or only foreground will be shown bg over fg means background will be on top while the foreground will be on bottom apply mode can be used to change the blend modes operator is where by which how both foreground and background is combined it is same as the one available in the merge node addictive and subtractive also behave same as that in merge node filter method are the processing method used while resizing the foreground here is what each method will do to your foreground edge option will allow you to fix the edges if the edges reveals the background warp duplicate mirror will give good result just change this option to find the one which is good enough to fix the issue position rotation scaling will allow you to match the move more accurately each tick boxes will add their respective motion to the foreground making it more accurate as possible flatten transform will flatten the transform like when you use the flatten option in photoshop i didn't get this properly but this is what davinci is sharing regarding this option on the match move settings pivot type determines how the anchor point for rotation is selected tracker average averages the location based on the tracking point selected tracker provides a menu where you can select the tracker that you added on manual you can manually type in the x and y values reference is the reference frame which match move will try to achieve 
simple way to explain this uh, reference frame option is that if you are stabilizing then the frame mentioned in the reference will be the final stabilized image and the tracker will try to achieve this final stabilized frame you can either set a custom frame or starting or ending frame to select a custom frame you need to first move the handle to the frame that you like to use then choose select time from the reference while the start and end is used to smoothen the existing motion this will average the motion between start and end of the path and it will create a single straight line when you use this option reference intermediate point control can be used to smoothen the path that you created next operation is the corner positioning it is mainly used to replace a rectangle object like a screen of television or phone to use this you need to have four trackers and these four trackers will be the corner point of the foreground on the merge you need to choose fg over bg other options are same as the match move options in mapping type bilinear means when you position the foreground over the background it won't fix the perspective distortion happening in the foreground video while in perspective davinci will automatically fix all the perspective issue that happen top left right bottom left right option can be used to specify which tracker point to be used on these corners of the foreground rotate clockwise and counter clockwise can be used to rotate the foreground next operation is the perspective operation it is used to remove the perspective from the videos all the option work same as the corner positioning if you need to use corner positioning or perspective positioning then it will be better to use planar tracker than the regular tracker now to use the tracker point in other nodes as the tracker output x and y coordinate we can link the tracker node data in parameters which require x and y value like center pivot etc so on this option right click choose connect to from there if you choose tracker 1 tracker 1 path then position then it will add all the keyframes from the track center to this parameter or if you choose tracker 1 tracker 1 offset position then it will add the offset position to this parameter if you don't want to have the entire keyframe then you can use this option as offset option is better as it will allow you to easily change position after connecting the tracker node to the other node to change the position use the offset control from the tracker node now if you want to use the stabilization data from the tracker then you can connect the steady position or unsteady position steady position will connect this in correct order while unsteady position will invert the points and connect we can really see all the values of the steady position and unsteady position only option that we can use to control these point is the match move settings in the operation section of the tracker steady size and steady angle can be added to parameter which got single input like size and angle this value will output the size and angle value from the match move this value can be controlled from the reference section in the trackers operation tab there is no way for us to clearly see this value in the tracker for these two parameter to work we need to have at least two tracker points in the tracker next is the unsteady size and unsteady angle it is same as steady angle and steady size but the value will be the inverse you only need one tracker point to add unsteady size and unsteady angle it is usually used to reintroduce the respective motion that is the size difference and angle difference in the video so that's all about this a uh, tracker node walk through guys i hope you guys find this video useful if you do so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe